Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry. This is gonna be a super fun video as we use A-Teeth Ultramint Pro Ultrasonic Unit to find MB2 in this maxillary molar and shape this tooth with both the E-Flex 1 and RAP. Let's get into it. For all files, I'll make sure I have a reproducible glide path with a number 10 hand file, and then the journey begins. Both the E-Flex 1 and REC are designed as a single file system. The 1 is a rotary file, and you guessed it, the REC file is a reciprocating file. Continual irrigation is critical to the success of your root canal treatment, and activating your irrigant with the Ultra X aids to break down vital tissue and biofilm. All right, let's tackle this maxillary first molar. We're gonna use both files to treat the buccal canals. Let's see the E-Flex 1 and REC in action. So this extracted tooth is a large pulp stone, but don't worry, it's absolutely no match for the Ultramint Pro. After accessing the tooth, there's that sneaky calcification. The Ultramint Pro easily reduces the calcification and we're on to establishing a reproducible glide path with a number 10 file. First up, I'll clean and shape the distal buccal canal with the E-Flex Rec up to a 3504 file. You may ask, hey Ash, why are you opening up to a 3504? Well, guess what? You're gonna have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. I'll use the E-Flex 1 file to shape the MB1 canal to a 3504. I'll be honest, this file is super smooth and it's really painful for me to say this as I love reciprocation. And this is just like real life. I'll clean and shape all the main canals before tackling MB2. Okay, MB2 time. I'm gonna use the Ultramint Pro to trough a line between these two arrows. My intent is to remove this little shelf of dentin. This is the first time I've ever used the Ultramint Pro and it is absolutely amazing. And I love this rounded tip. You know, the ability to see what I'm doing at the working end is just, well, incredible and I can easily adjust the water flow on the handpiece. That's like one of the best feelings in endo. I can get a file into MB2. So I'm going to use the 6810 file progression that my buddy Les taught me years ago to get to working length and establish a reproducible glide path. After creating a smooth glide path with a number 10 file, I'm going to try my luck and take the 2504 to length. You know, I usually have a chamber full of irrigant, but to capture what I'm doing, I kept it pretty dry. And this file still has no problem to getting to length. Once I'm done shaping, I'll finish my irrigation protocol and activate my irrigants one last time. Here's the final product before obturation. It's a work of art thanks to the E-Flex single file systems, the one and rec. Oh, and before I forget, one of the reasons I clean and shape main canals to a 3504 is because the irrigating needle I use is a 30 gauge and the 3504 size allows me to get the needle as close to the apical constriction as possible. The E-Flex files are truly a technological advancement that make even the most challenging canals predictable and efficient. I've been changed for life.